Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Ms. Shafat, a counselor teacher of SSC subject from Kashmir Public School in Suhanwara. Welcome to class 8 of Geography, Resource and Development. Dear learners, today in this lecture we will discuss on the topic that is agriculture which is chapter number 4 of your textbook. So this chapter is about knowing all the science and art behind agriculture. Don't worry about science part. It's going to be all simple. Now dear students, let's begin. First, we will know what is mean by the word agriculture. The word agriculture is derived from two Latin words. That is agar or its another name is agri and the second Latin word is culture. Agar or agri gives the same meaning as soil and culture means cultivation. When we combine these two words, this becomes soil cultivation. Or in nutshell, we can say cultivation of soil is agriculture. So dear students, the classic definition of Agriculture is a science and art of cultivation on the soil, raising crops and raising livestock. It's also called farming. I hope this definition is clear. Dear students, let's turn towards your textbook. In your textbook, here is a story about farmer. Dear learners, this story is important to read and learn so that you can easily understand the activities of agriculture. Now we read the story. The story is Gurpeet, Madhav and Tina were walking through the village while they saw a farmer tilling land. He is a word tilling land. What does tilling land mean? To loosen up the land, to convert or we can say to turn it into soil. The farmer told children that he was growing wheat and had just added manure to the soil to make it more fertile. He added here a manure. What does this manure mean? Manure means some organic matter that makes soil fertile. So why this farmer added this manure? He added this so that he can yield a good crop. After yielding a good crop, this wheat will fetch a good price in the Monday from where it will be taken to factories to make bread and biscuits from wheat flour. That means from this wheat flour a finished product can be made. Dear students, in the above story we saw some process how wheat grows then its economic activity and after processing to get a finished product. Now this is transformation from a plant to a finished product involves three types of economic activities. What are the three types of economic activities that are? These are primary, secondary and tertiary activities. First we discuss on this primary activity. When there is extraction and production of natural resources. This activity is known as primary activity. Here is extraction and production. Now we take some examples from this activity. Agriculture, agriculture, fishing, fishing and another is gathering. These are the some examples of primary activity. Now we take the another one that is second one that is secondary activity. When there is processing, processing of what? Process of natural resources. That is manufacturing. We can say manufacturing. Now we take the examples. Manufacturing of steel, baking of bread, or we can say weaving of 
clothes are some of its examples. The third one is tertiary activity. What does tertiary activity mean? This tertiary activity supports the both primary and secondary activity and provides services. What type of services? Like transport provides services. Services like transport, trade, banking, and we can say advertising are some of its examples. Now, dear students, we will take an example from the above story that the farmer here first took the wheat grain, wheat grain, and sowed it. Then, when the wheat grew, he extracted the wheat. This activity is called as primary activity. After extraction of wheat, it taken to the factories to make what bread and biscuits so this is secondary activity or we can say in secondary activity here we manufacturing the production when that bread or biscuits reaches us or is the market then we can say this is a tertiary activity dear students the topic which we are discussing that's agriculture what is this agriculture which activity is this Agriculture is a primary activity as it includes, why this is a primary activity as it includes growing of crops, fruits, vegetables, flowers, rearing of livestock. Dear learners, if we look on to the global picture, we have nearly about 50% of people that are engaged in agriculture and in India nearly two-third of population that is engaged in agriculture so agriculture definitely forms a major or substantial portion of total economic condition for agricultural activity we must have a favorable climatic condition and fertile soil what climatic condition and and soil climate and soil it plays a vital role in order to cultivate land okay dear students the land on which the crops are grown is known as arable land what does arable land mean? The land that is capable for producing crops, capable or we can say suitable for farming. Now dear students, here I am giving some additional information. Do you know? the term culture while if we have some prefix to it we get different terms so the term culture here if we add before this culture agri this becomes agriculture and what is mean by agriculture the science and art of cultivation on the soil as i have discussed this earlier and the second one is Sorry, if we add this with a culture, this becomes Sorry culture. Sorry culture means commercial rearing of silk worms. The third one, if we add Pisces before a culture, this becomes Pisces culture. Pisces culture means breeding of fish. The fourth one, if we add Vaiti before this culture, this becomes Vaiti culture. Vaiti culture means cultivation of grapes. The last one, if we add Hoti before this culture, this becomes Hoti culture. Hoti culture means growing vegetables, flowers and fruits for economic use. 
so dear friends i hope you all have understood this lecture inshallah in the next lecture we will discuss on the topic form system and its types this is all for today city home city safe allah hafiz